Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a breed across a pure breed tall plant having white flowers to pure breed short plant having blue flowers. He obtained 202 F1 progeny and found that uh, they are all tall having white flowers. Upon selfing this F1 plants he obtained progeny of 2160 plants, approximately how many of these are likely to be short and having blue flowers. And as usual, I recommend you to pause the video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So what we know, we know that one plant uh, is tall and having white flowers and another is short and has blue flowers. So uh, what pure breed means? Pure breed means that um, alleles for the same trait are uh, the same. So for example if uh, this is going to be dominant trait tallness and white color uh, genotype uh, of this plant would be capital A, capital A and capital B, capital B. And genotype of uh, this flower would be small a, small a and small b, small b. So this means pure breed that um, for the trait A both alleles are dominant, for the trait B both alleles are dominant, for the trait A in this plant uh, uh, for this gene both alleles are recessive and for the second trait a blue color is also recessive. How do I know that these traits are recessive and this is dominant? Because we know that in F when we cross these two plants in F1 generation so this is parental generation, so this is parent 1, this is parent 2. In F1 generation all the plants are tall and have white flowers. So we can say that um, this trait tall and white flowers are dominant over the uh, short and blue flowers. So what is the genotype of the F1 generation and F1 generation would be heterozygous for one trait and also heterozygous for another trait. Uh, this parent only can give to the progeny whether this allele or this allele. Both alleles are the same so we see um, capital A here this parent can give to the progeny any of these alleles for the uh, trait tallness and here we have heterozygous genotype and once again this uh, parent 2 only can give uh, recessive allele B and this parent only can give dominant allele B. So we see uh, dehybrid in F1 generation. Uh, all the plants, 100%, would be heterozygous for both traits. Now let's return to the problem upon selfing these F1 plants. So what selfing means, this means that we have to uh, make next cross among this F1 generation. So we have to cross uh, parents who is going to be heterozygous for both uh, traits for both um, uh, genes. So we are going to cross uh, this genotype with the same genotype, so self-cross. This is how we obtain F2 generation, but F2 generation would have much more genotypes and phenotypes than this F1 generation that genotypically and phenotypically uniform. So um, from probably your textbook, you remember that uh, when we do the hybrid cross phenotypic ratio is going to be uh, 9 to 3 to 3 
n to 1. And this um, phenotype here, this is uh, phenotypic ratios, not genotypic, but phenotypic ratios. And this one would be homozygous for both traits. So genotype of, of this plant would be small a, small a, and small b, small b. And in our problem, uh, it is said that um, approximately how many of these are likely to be short and having blue flowers. So this is genotype. And we ask uh, how many uh, in the progeny would be short and having blue flowers. And as you see, uh, this is going to be a ratio. Uh, 9 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1, 16, and 1 out of 16 uh, plants would belong to this genotype. And the last step, uh, the question asks us uh, how many plants we expect out of 2160 to belong uh, to this phenotype. And the answer is 116. So the last step would be to multiply 2160 uh, by 116. Or we have to divide by 16. Or in other words, we multiply by 1 and divide by 16. So uh, anything divided by 1 is the same number. So we just divide by 16. And the answer would be 135. And this is going to be our answer today. And this is answer D. But uh, I also said that I'm going to explain how we can solve such problems using a forked line method. So as you see, uh, in F1 generation, we have uh, dehybrid cross. In other words, we also can say that we uh, crossing this genotype with this genotype and uh, this genotype with this genotype. So when we have uh, genes that are not reside on the same chromosome, they would segregate independently. That means that uh, we can just build a Punnett square for each gene pair. So, for example, or allelic pair. So, uh, for gene A, we have uh, one parent who is heterozygous, another parent who is also heterozygous, and when we build a Punnett square, we can see all the phenotypes in the progeny. Capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, and capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. As you see, uh, three quarters of the progeny would be tall, and one quarter would be short. So one quarter would be short. And as for the second trait, um, blue or white, so we see that uh, here uh, color is white because white is dominant over the blue. So once again, when we build a Punnett square, both parents are heterozygous for this trait. Both of them uh, have a blue color of uh, flowers. And when we build a Punnett square, we would see the same ratios as in uh, example with tallness of the plant. Three quarters would be would have white flowers and one quarter would have blue flowers. So one quarter would have blue flowers and three quarters would have uh, white flowers. So we have everything in order to solve uh, this problem using 
fork line method and now this is going to be our zero point imagine that uh, what is the probability that our plants would be tall and as you see probability is three quarters so let's start from here we have three quarters probability that plants would be tall and we have one quarter probability that plants would be short so this is probability that plants going to be short then for the uh, next trait which is uh, plants uh, color of the flowers once again three quarters probability that uh, uh, color of the flowers would be white and one quarter probabilities or let me use this color uh, probability that plants would be blue and here once again we also have three quarters probability that plants would be white and one quarter probability that uh, flowers would be blue so uh, the question was that in f2 generation and this is f2 generation we have to find probability that plants going to be short and uh, bearing blue flowers and this is our uh, path so we have to connect this two events and because this is two independent probabilities we have to multiply them we have to multiply uh, one quarter by one quarter and the answer would be that such phenotype would be seen in uh, 1 16th uh, of all the plants and for example if the question would be what is the probability that plants would be tall and wide we have to multiply three quarters by three quarters and the answer would be that such phenotype uh, would be seen in 9 16th of the plants and this phenotype tall and blue would be seen in um, 3 16 and phenotype short and white also would be seen in 3 16 so as you see if we now add all these numbers we are going to get 16 over 16 or this equals to 1 or to 100 percent so as you see once again this is uh, our phenotype short and blue and also uh, as you see it is represented by 1 16 and uh, everything we have to do now is just multiply by uh, 2160 and uh, this is going to be the same answer that we got here so as you see uh, this problem can be approached differently but today I just wanted to show you how to solve genetics problems using a fork line method but uh, also uh, there is shortcut to this just uh, remember that in dehybrid cross this one stands for the homozygous um, genotype for both genes gene a and b and it is 1 16th and this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye